Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, I am Steve Chapman. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. You know, we do these unboxings every month, but there's three or four boxes that you can purchase, and I thought it might be a good idea to look at all four of them, or four of the major ones, and see what how they stack up against each other. Which one is the best? Which one's gonna give us the newest products? Which, are gonna, which one's gonna give us the products that we use the most? So today we're gonna to look at four boxes. Well, technically three right now, but we'll get into that in a little bit. We're gonna look at all of the boxes from May, from Monster Bass, from Mystery Tackle Box, Monster Bass, Mystery Tackle Box, and Warriors Tackle Supply, and the real tackle, the real tackle box, which isn't here yet. And it's June 15th. First, let us look at what came in each May subscription tackle box. Then we'll give each box a rating overall, including brand recognition. Personal, we'll, we'll go into personal customer service that uh, I've had dealings with each one. And then do they contain, do they contain overstock products or are these newer products? Now I need to mention uh, a couple things. I did not purchase the Lucky Tackle Box, and I used to subscribe to them, but in the past and here recently, Lucky Tackle Box just hasn't been one that I want to deal with. Um, they have a lot of overstock stuff. Not that it isn't good for someone that's a new person fishing, but as someone who's somewhat experienced angler, I guess I could consider myself, the stuff that, it, that was coming in Lucky Tackle Box just wasn't, was five, six, seven years old, and I don't like that. So let's just go into overstock. Is overstock a, a problem? In my situation, yes. I think if you're a new angler or you're giving this to somebody as a friend or a gift, I think overstock is all right because it allows you to try new products. And really, the thing behind a subscription tackle box, it's about marketing. These companies put together good boxes that allow other companies to join in and they can market their new products or market old products. So why is overstocking a pro an issue or a problem in my opinion? Well, you start to get baits that are seven, six, seven, eight years old, even sometimes even older, that don't do well on the market. So they have an overstock of them, they can sell them for pennies on the dollar, and they can get the, that product out of their warehouses. So would someone new or inexperienced or new to fishing appreciate a tackle box? Yes. If you deal with the right one, this is a great opportunity to give a great gift that's going to allow them to expand their fishing. You'll get worms, you'll get crankbaits, you'll get all sorts of stuff. Things that are going to allow that angler to learn more about fishing. And there's something to be said about that. A better angler or a more complete angler will catch more fish. Again, I have to mention, I purchased all of these, so I have really nothing to gain by any of them. I don't have any influence by one over the other. All these were purchased with my own money. Anyway, we'll start off on how they came in. Now I should say, Mystery Tackle Box came in a little bit later. They sent me the wrong box to start off with, and then they fixed it fairly quickly and resent out the elite box for bass. I got the multi-species one, which I wasn't really happy about. But let's start off with Monster Bass. As we know, Monster Bass sends out a box every month and they claim to put seven or eight good products. And you can see the last video. But real quickly, let's go through what came in last month's Monster Bass box. They started us off with a Booyah Bait, Buzz Bait. From Chase Baits, the Snorter. From Lunker Hunt, half ounce Kraken. Kind of like a bladed jig. Not sure if it is, but Kraken. They sent some Stanley jigs. This is a hand tied skirt jig. Some hooks from Sandbar Tackle. Some KVD Perfect Plastics. These are the Finesse Worm. 
Full packs. That's the key. A full pack. They sent the Bait Labs. What is this one called? This one is called the Tournament Winning Action. I don't know what it's called to be. Ultimate Strike Shad. You can see that right there. And last but not least, from Rabbit Baits, they sent out some Rabbit Claws. And I think this was a special color just for Monster Bass. From Warriors Tackle Supply, this box. So Warriors Tackle Supply started us off with a Storm Arashi Square 5 Square Bill Crankbait. Yep, Square Bill. They send us a Z-Man Cross-Eyed Swimming Jig. They sent us a live target shiner. They sent us a finesse kit from Woo, I think this is. Everything you need to go drop shotting or, or uh, wacky rigging, worms, a finesse kit. They sent some big bite baits, tour series, tour toad. Looks like there's probably five in the bait bag. They sent them, us some Z Bait Company Fish Crave It Bamboo Bomber. Looks like a full pack too. They sent some of their own, which I dis don't like them to do. Tournament Series Soft Plastics three pieces of, I guess it's like a swim bait. And they sent us a buff. So, not bad. Um, I, would, I would disagree in sending this, no offense to Live Target, but this has been out forever and this is overstocked for sure. Which then makes me think that this might be overstocked. And, and not that overstock is the worst thing, but the problem is, is we get too much of the overstock. And if it's overstock, it's a, there's a reason for it, unfortunately. And third, for now, because I'll get into this afterwards. Third from May is from Mystery Tackle Box, which I should say... Great job in, in getting those to me. They sent a Guggen Squad Hound. Fantastic paint job on it, by the way. But this is one of their own baits. They sent a Motorboat 13 Fishing. Hopefully that's the right direction. This one came out last year, by the way. They sent some Namase Gills. I just did a review on the Namase Gil Dika that has the weight. These are unweighted. Not bad. These are Japanese. Next, they sent us a Guggen Squad Juicy 5 16th ounce jig head. Jig. Next, they sent us some headbanger rocker heads. Some Mustat Ultra Point hooks or, or jigs. I don't even know what you want to call these, to be honest. Jig head? Yeah, jig head. They sent a full pack of vertical lures. Who the hell knows? Looks like a Ned Rig kind of thing. They sent from Bruiser Baits. Looks like a good pack of the Avenger in Bammer Hammer color. Kind of good, actually. Not bad. I don't mind that. Don't know them. And then last but not least, they sent some small smart baits that change colors. Not a bad box, to be honest. The problem that uh, you, uh, and you, you'll find out if you get Mystery Tackle Box, a lot of times you get a lot of stuff that they produce. And not that their stuff is, is bad at all. I mean, the Guggen stuff 
is is good, but um, it isn't. You know, they can make this for fifty cents, a dollar, and uh, you know that I'd like to see them do more research and make the products themselves. But and, and these head bangers, I, I I'm not a, I'm just not a big fan of these right now. So overall, not a, another not a bad box, but what you see there is you don't get any. In those boxes, which were all $34, $35, there was no, you know, half packs. That's important. You spend them out, that amount of money. You don't want to get a half pack of something. So let's just get into Real Tackle Box. Real Tackle Box has a problem in our industry. And we want to know what the problem is, is that if you were to buy Real Tackle Box now and have the the problems that I had and hundreds of other people that have had. This would eliminate you from purchasing another subscription tackle, tackle box. And that's a real problem because you have good companies like Mystery Tackle Box and Monster, Bo um, Monster Bass and Rush Tackle Box and Florida Tackle Club and even Warriors Tackle Club. They are reputable companies that put when you buy something, they send it to you. Real Tackle Box is a complete scam. I purchased theirs on somewhere in May 7th or 8th. Here it is, I'm doing a second video because they told me last week or 10 days ago that my box had been sent out. Now since then, they've had no correspondence with me. And in looking up them on the Better Business Bureau, they have hundreds, if not maybe thousands, of people that are pissed off. Real Tackle Company or Real Tackle Box is making the other good guys look bad and that's really a, a shame because those other companies monster bass mystery tackle box i might even throw lucky tackle box in there hopefully here soon uh warriors florida tackle club all those guys are great boxes some of them absolutely fantastic but real tackle box is a complete piece of crap if you're seeing this don't buy this for any of your friends. Don't buy it for yourself. They are a complete scam. They don't send out boxes. And to make matters worse, you want to know what they do? They get your credit card information and then they try to recharge you a month later after not even getting out your first box. So you get billed time after time. So then you have to go to your bank, change your credit card information or your debit card information. And these guys are just keep charging you. They're pieces of shit. The real bad thing about this, or the real horrible thing about this, is that if you go to the Real Tackle Box uh, website, it says your box is going to ship in X amount of days, hours, and so forth. Mine actually said 11 hours. Today is June 25th. They don't respond to emails. They don't. Their phone number is horrible. If you comment something on their Facebook page, they just delete it. So do yourself a favor. If you're going to get a box, go with anyone else. But don't go with Real Tackle Box because you will get ripped off. They won't give you back your money and they are horrible, a horrible company that's hurting the small industry. And I hope that companies that they are buying from don't sell them the products because they're not sending them to us. They're crap. And I don't care. They're crap. So if you have to give a customer satisfaction rating for Monster Bass on a one to 10, they get a 10. Mystery Tackle Box, probably an eight and a half or nine. Um, Warrior Tackle Club, probably an eight and a half or nine too. All of them got back to me. I sent emails to them to see how long it would take. Monster Bass got to me back, got back to me on the same day. Mystery and Warriors, it took one or two days, which is still all right because I know they probably get lots of emails, but can't give them a 10 out of 10 if uh, it isn't fairly fast. And really, Monster Bass is doing things way up here and everyone's just trying to copy them. In terms of brand recognition, you're gonna notice right off the bat, Monster Bass has more recognized brands, but do they have, is it completely full with re uh, the best of the best? There's some startup companies that they can buy smaller stuff from, so they probably get an eight and a half or a nine out of 10. Still really good products, but not always stuff that even I've heard of in 13 or 14 years in the industry. For Warrior Tackle Club, I thought that they had some good brands. 
Um, the problem I had with the Warrior Tackle Club is I thought there was some overstock stuff in there. The, the crankbait and the live target stuff, that stuff didn't sell very well in the market, unfortunately. And, and I find those kind, some of those products at Ollie's for a couple dollars. So a lot of that stuff is overstock. So if I look at brand recognition and overstock for the Warrior Tackle Company, I would think I would probably give the overall box probably a seven, seven and a half. For Mystery Tackle Box, while I appreciate some of the stuff that they put in from the Guggen Squad, that's stuff that they build themselves. Not that it's taking anything away. However, it is still new. It's still new. But I have a problem with, with uh, taking someone else's uh, intellectual property that they've created and duplicating that. And I've seen too many videos recently of stuff that Guggen Squad has done that that's identical to other companies but still it's a quality product but it's their own brand um, and I would like to see Mystery Tackle Box venture outside of the Guggen Catchco company and bring some more quality name products but if I look at custom if I'm looking at brand recognition and uh, and overstock stuff I would say Mystery Tackle Box is probably a seven and a half or an eight real tackle company is gonna get a zero in customer service they're going to get a zero on brand recognition and everything. Real Tackle Company is just the worst company I've dealt with in a long, long time. There's one other, but I'm not going to say it here. Well, hopefully this gave you a little bit of an insight on a few tackle boxes and also allows you to have a better understanding and recognition of what's out there for your money. If you're going to buy one of these for a friend or for a loved one or for your dad or your uncle or whoever loves fishing some of these some of these companies are well worth investing the money monster bass is really on top of their game florida tackle club is another one that isn't in here and the reason why it isn't in here is because they designed the box specifically for me everything that comes in the box is designed for the type of fishing i do so when i look at all of them Florida Tackle Club is, is my opinion, the best there is out there. Monster Bass is very, very good. Warrior Tackle Club and the Mystery Tackle Box are both very good products. And they do put stuff in there that you can use. So there is something to be said about that. All still good quality. And generally you get a good overall value for the $33, $34 that you pay. Again, if you're going to go with Real Tackle Box, I wish you the best of luck. And I'm sorry, because that is stupid. They are morons, idiots, and they're hurting our industry. That's just how I see it. I'm going to keep it real. might not like it. You might agree. You might disagree. We're all entitled to our opinion. We just have to be polite about it as much as possible. However, it's really, it's really hard to be polite about Real Tackle Club, Real Tackle Box. Because I, I lost 35 bucks because of them. I hope they enjoy my $35. Because that's the last they'll get from me and hopefully from anyone else. Guys, I hope you give this, thumb, this video a thumbs up and I hope that you like this. Tell, us, tell me what you think. I put a lot of time and thought into this and I'd love to know your comments. Would you like, a, like to see another one of these? Tell me in the comments below. But make sure you subscribe to the channel. There's lots of great things coming on the channel, including live from the Casa shows and more. So check us out, subscribe, like, comment, and click the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. Guys, I appreciate every one of you and hope you have a blessed day. Remember a few things. Take a kid fishing, get your fish on. We will see you soon. Hey guys, if you like this, click up here and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see our last video, click down here and you'll get to see it. Get your fish on.